Not another Timu haul. That's because this is from AliExpress. In my last Timu haul, some of the things I bought, the RGB matrices, one of the commenters said, yeah, you can get it cheaper at AliExpress. And I know I said that at the end of the video. But it's funny because not everything on AliExpress is that cheap because recently you have to pay VAT on it, which you never used to have before. And some AliExpress stuff now actually have postage on it. So I was looking at some of those matrices and yes, they're about three pounds. But by the time you've added postage and VAT on it, it might be similar. But I don't know. The, the point is on Timu, you never quite know what you're going to get. But on AliExpress, hopefully I will get what I asked for. So I've got loads of stuff on this now. So uh, it's exciting, isn't it? So what have I got? All right. So that's a little uh, transmitter device. And there should be two of those. That's probably the other one. And this is an MPU 605. So that's uh, like a gyroscope sensor thing. See if you can guess what I'm trying to make. A very little Arduino. It's quite a nice one. I'm going to show you it in fact. So it's a t <laughs> it's triggering me. It's triggering me. I'm going to need to sand it. Very small little Arduino, but uh, if you notice, it doesn't have a USB port on it. So we have to make other arrangements and program it through the header. But yeah, so very teeny. What else have you got? OK, so this is a LCD display. I think I bought two of most of these things. I needed two of these as well. I've got a feeling I haven't bought two of these. So this is an LCD display, a bit of an old style one. Uh, it's really heavy, actually. Um, they're pretty cool things, though. But they've got a little extra bit on the back. So normally you program these by addressing each of these pins and sending the signals through that. This is like a little IC2 add on to it. So you just send it via two wires and you send commands and this tells it what to display on the screen. So an old style gadget with a slightly newer style interface to it to save using up all of your input and output pins all right so that's another one the same uh what's this oh another 6050 that's good i did order two so another little gyroscope units another very teeny little transmitter this compared to the other one so that's like a surface mount version of this transmitter smaller chip on that very definitely a smaller crystal on it and i did actually order that because there were options of what to buy with this and i wanted to make sure that i had what i wanted so i wasn't sure so i ordered two of them but they were they were pretty cheap it's nearly there getting to it okay so that's another arduino nano um now i do have some of these um elsewhere i've got some i've got some there actually but these have all got the old uh mini usb and i wanted some with usb c on so again i think i've got these are sort of getting a bit harder to get i feel um it was quite hard for me to track down exactly what i wanted but maybe it's just the supply at the moment and that will change but yeah i made sure it was a 328 and not a 168 um, so this is a 3.3 volt 8 megahertz one i'll show you what i'm using these for at the end of the video <laughs> it's exceedingly small all right that this is a should be two in there or maybe i only ordered one so this is a little buzzer but uh it's on the lily pad style of boards so these are sort of wearable electronics that you put on your clothing so this is like a little buzzer but actually i didn't want the board i wanted it just for that buzzer uh because I need a very small buzzer. Yeah, so that's simple. Uh, right, okay, so some <laughs> Seijen Fantasy Electronics. Uh, whether that's because they don't work, I don't know. So this is some surface mount things. I think they were diodes. Does it say? Yeah, I think they're diodes, um, power diodes of some kind. Again, I was just buying those off of Bill of Materials. 
I was a bit worried because I think maybe there's something missing, but it'll probably come as another delivery. It's all to do with the uh, power supply for these uh, radio receivers and transmitter modules. So I was expecting to see something with an aerial in it, but looks like that hasn't arrived yet. So it'll arrive in another shipment. So again, some more little power transistors these are. Again, surface mount. So these go with these and I'll be using four of these. And... Uh, four of these but i thought i'd get some to keep in stock because they were silly prices so i've just checked my order and it looks like the other bits i was looking for just don't exist so it's a few days later now and uh here they are now when i went to order them same seller i bought the other stuff off it, it had said we can't ship to your country which is weird because they could ship the rest of it to our country anyway um so a few days later as i said and i've ordered these which were from a different seller and they can indeed ship to my country so oh well all right so this is a little radio uh, this is the little transmitter and uh, that should go on there and then these are a couple of teeny little power supplies for it looks like i can break the edge off so these need a very special power supply, apparently, without any ripples, a high quality power supply. So um, they fit in there, I'm a little bit bent. I have to sort those out. Yep, so they fit in there and the aerial goes on the top. So what's all this hole for? Well, I began to assemble some of it. This is a little uh, remote control transmitter. A uh, little uh, unit, see, with the uh, putts there that I can control projects with. So the cool thing is, is that this transmitter has a Arduino in the middle of it. So I can write programs to go on that Arduino that's specific for whatever the model is that I'm controlling or whatever the device I want to control is. So yeah, that goes in there. That should go through there. I might have to uh, fiddle with this. Actually, I think... I might have to take those off completely and just connect these directly together. I think that's what the instructions said. I'll leave a link in the description to the video about this controller. And uh, although the guy who did it didn't do the software, another guy picked up his idea and has created this. So I've got his software running on there. So yeah, let's unplug that for now. That will go in there. I'm going to take a teeny bit of footling to get it in. Then the aerial goes on the top as so and then i can program this and get it to control various things so i think i'm going to wire this up and i'm not going to show you straight away me controlling anything with it because this is just a build project in its own right but i just wanted to show you what i was going to do with the timu hall so i might put a time lapse of me building this in a video later on in my channel if you want to see it if you want to see it finish please subscribe and you might even see what i'm going to be using it for Bye. I see robot faces. So this is what I'm building. So I've 3D printed this case and you can probably work out with it that I've got some uh, controllers in there. So this is going to be a remote control, um, radio remote control. So it's going to be an aerial sticking out of here. And uh, see, I've already got one of these um, LCD things, but because uh, I was using that, I thought I'd get some more to go into stock when I need them for other things um so yeah i've got to program one of those arduinos it'll uh, pop out there and uh i'll get this working and then when i have other projects such as little drone projects i'm thinking about working on i'll build this and uh, put the bits in it and that's what i'm going to use this not another timu haul from uh, what i'm going to uh, use this aliexpress order so um i hope you uh, enjoyed that just a little chat really in a post bag episode but uh if you want to see what i might do with these i might record this i might not don't know 
didn't record putting this together but we'll uh, see what happens maybe i'll recall the power i'll record the power run for you but uh thanks for watching and uh thanks for coming back give it a like if you want if you didn't like it don't give it a like but wow i'm really waffling now bye